Okay, here we've got three Nintendo Wii U's. Apparently they're all faulty. Got them off eBay. Um, about £5, about £15, and about £15. Also, I had to buy one of these, just in case they do work. And this one's got the left thumbsticks broken. Apart from that, that one works fine. And all the touch screen works as well. Let's go on with Fix and see how it goes. Okay, this is the one I plugged in. Um, turned on my remote and it's come up on the screen. Um, right, I've got a remote sent to this one. This one was brought off um, eBay untested. Checking the weather channel online. It's not going to get online because I've not put it online because I don't want the thing updating. Can't fucking thing. And there we are. One working Wii for £15. Okay, that's good. This one turns on, but it doesn't connect to the TV, and it doesn't connect to the pad either. So what I sneakily done with this one, I've called Nintendo, told them what my Wii U's died, and it's got like no no uh, display or anything, and they've asked me to send it in. So, okay, what we're doing today is we're going to send back the Wii U's we've got off eBay. This one is one would have a parental lock and I couldn't remove it but it did work so I sent it back to Nintendo they said they could do it for free to remove parental lock however this one what I got off eBay is black screen and they said to send that back and they'll have a look at it but it could be free it could cost between 59.99 and 179.99 so what I do is I send it back see how I get on and film the result of this when I get them back Okay, it's been a few days since I sent the Nintendo we used to Nintendo to get them fixed. And this just come back today. And these are the we use. Let's see how they work. Okay, upon ripping this up, it's from Nintendo. So this is an actual box they've sent it back in. I wonder if I've got both in the back. Now, what they did, they replaced the um, one what I got off of eBay, which wasn't working, with the black screen, for £53.75. I thought that was quite a good deal to get one actually fixed, especially since it wasn't actually technically mine to start with. And the other one, which had the parent lock, they removed the parent lock for free and sent it back, so... I'm going to open this and find out what we've got inside it. Okay, here goes. Hmm. Weirdly, it looks like the actual original box they've sent one in. Here we have, thank you for using the official Nintendo customer support service. Upon inspection of the console, the following fault was identified, parental controls. This has now been rectified and adjusted. Your Nintendo customer warranty has now been renewed for an additional 12 months from the date of this letter. As you can see, they've done it for free and they've moved the parental controls and they've given me a year's guarantee. That's excellent. They've returned it in a new plastic bag, so they've definitely had a look at it. I'll plug it in and we'll have a look to see what we've got. Looks like it's connecting. We said it's now ready. Select the language. Right, let's select the language. Right, select the language English.
and I'm back on the Wii. When you buy a Wii U and it's not working, or it's parent locked, send it back to Nintendo, they'll check it out for you. Um, in my case, they removed the parent lock for totally free on this one. Reset it to factory default, and then all I've done is got it out of the pack and reset it up. The good thing is you've received a Wii U box, which I didn't have when I got it. So I've now got a box to keep my Wii U in. Now this one, the white one, that's for blue light of death. Now there's a complete difference between blue light of death and this one with black screen. Let's see. Power on. Thinking blue light. Now I was thinking it might be the drive, but I've tested the drive with the one from this one and we still get the same problem. This one turns on, but doesn't connect to the TV and it doesn't connect to the pad either. Okay, we've got the power in. Now if you listen, do you hear the drive? And we've got a solid light. So what I sneakily done with this one, I've called Nintendo, told them what my Wii U's died, and it's got like no no uh, display or anything, and they've asked me to send it in, so I'll update that and see how we get on. Okay, here we have the second Wii U returned. Um, this one cost me £17.20, plus postage, and £53 from Nintendo to get it repaired. Let's open it and find out. Right, I've opened it. Just dragging it out of the box now. That's excellent. Again, it's arrived in a Sindo box. Let's open it and find out. Again, sealed down. This for Wii. Or should we say for Wii U? Okay. Here we have the Wii U. Come back pretty much intact. This one wasn't open, it was just doing the red light of death. It basically was coming on. You could hear the hard drive, well not the hard drive, the disk drive spinning. Right, so again, we've got a letter. Uh, no picture, no or bad picture on it. This fault has been rectified by replacement parts. Okay, upon wrapping it, you get it in one of these little bags, so you can tell Nintendo's been in it. Okay, so that's it for the Wii U send back to Nintendo test, showing what you can actually take a eBay Wii U, which is faulty or parent locked, send it back to Nintendo, they will fix it for you, at least in the UK they will, and uh, they check it out, they send it back working. In case of this one, parent lock removed. And then I'll see just set it up.